How to make a paper cutout transition. Trim your clip in the part you want, and leave the rest of the clip for later. Make a freeze frame from the last frame of your clip. Stretch it and make it long for now. Create a freeze frame from the first frame of your second clip, and stretch it to match the other one. Make it a new fusion clip, and go to the fusion page. Add a polygon mask and create a rough shape around the lower part of the image. Add a displace node, disconnect the polygon mask from your clip, and connect it to the yellow point of the displace node. Connect the displace node as a mask to your clip. Add a fast noise node, and connect it to the green point of the displace node. In the fast noise node, tweak around the detail, contrast, and scale. In the displace node, tweak around the offset and refraction strength. Go back and forth and play with the settings until you've got what you like. Disconnect your clip, add a new background node, and change the color to white. Add a merge node, and connect it to the out point. Connect your clip to the merge node as a foreground. Copy and paste the three nodes you've made, connect them to the background node. Select this polygon node, go in the inspector, increase the size and move it around, until you get the desired white outline. Add a new merge node after your current one, import a paper texture image, and connect it to the merge node. Select your merge node, and change the operator to in. Bring down the blend slider around the middle. Add a brightness and contrast node to your paper image, adjust the sliders to fine tune the blending. Do the same thing for each cutout you want. I will make another one for the middle part and one for the top part of my image. Place him over, and trim down the beginning of each one for a few frames. Bring over your second clip, and adjust the timing. Go to the rest part of your first clip, choose some frame and make a paper cut out of them. The process is the same. When you made the cutouts, place them over your paper transition. From this point, the process is basic positioning and timing, so I will not go through it. For the background paper I used a simple push up and down transition, and for the Sean Connery paper, I used a push to left transition. To blend things better, I've added a camera shake transition, before and after the paper effect. To make those videos takes me a lot of time and effort, so if you like to support me and buy me a beer, I will appreciate it. Thanks for watching.